and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a damaged USB drive. Now generally when a USB drive is damaged either the uh, total size on it is completely wrong or Windows is saying that it cannot format the disk and there's a very simple way to fix this. So I went ahead and just ruined my 32 gig USB drive. Only 2.10 megabytes total is showing right now. It's about equivalent to a terrible 1990s floppy disk. Completely wrong. So first thing you want to do is click on the start key at the bottom, very bottom left hand side here and type in CMD and hit enter. And then this beautiful black box will pop up here. Uh, this is command prompt. So go ahead and minimize all this. The second thing you're going to want to open here is the computer management tool. You can do that by typing, well there's different ways to do it, but I do it by C-O-M-P-M-G-M-T dot M-S-C. Go ahead and just look over that if you didn't hear me correctly. And then just go ahead and hit enter. Now a little administrative prompt will come up. Go ahead and click yes. It's absolutely fine. Now from here you're going to go under storage. If that little arrow is uh, pointing directly to the right, just go ahead and click that and then go to disk management. Once this opens up it'll show you all of your active drives in your computer including the removable disk and it'll generally say removable on it. If not, go directly by the size because you could end up wiping one of your operating systems which I've done accidentally before. Anyway, getting right to the point, this is the primary partition that is ruining it. Now, these unallocated sizes won't show up. It'll just state, you know, it's completely wrong. It's not there anymore. And don't worry, the USB drive still has all this storage. So we're going to want to make that into, you know, all this unallocated space here. So let's go ahead and minimize all of that for now. We're going to pull command prompt back up. What you're going to type in first is D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T, disk part, and hit enter. A little administrative prompt will probably come up again. Go ahead and click yes. It's absolutely fine. Now the second black box will pop up where it says disk part is the first uh, section there. Now what you're going to type in is list disk. Now I can't emphasize how important it is to remember the number on your allocated disk. Now... If you don't know what it is, you can go back to computer management and it'll say this little number right here. Just go ahead and go directly to the one that your USB drive is listed. And in this case, it's uh, number two for me. So I'm going to do, type in select disk two. Now it's selected. You're going to type in from here is list partition. There's only one that's ruining it right now. So, you know, there may be several, but you can just delete them as you go. It doesn't really matter what, what order you go in. So you just type in from here, select partition one, hit enter. Now it's a selected partition. Now the third step here is to type in delete partition override and hit enter. Now that successfully deleted the partition that was causing us problems. So we will go back to computer management here. And as you can see, it's completely unallocated now. This is not fixed though, reminder. So now we're going to go ahead and click on this unallocated section. Go ahead and right hand click it or click it with the right hand, with the right button. Oh, I can't talk today. Okay, so now you go to new simple volume and click that. A little wizard will pop up. Just go ahead and click next. If this number is different from the top number up here, make sure that you just type this in into this box, whatever matches up here. So don't go with minimum, type in the maximum. You can click next, next, just go ahead and next through all that and finish it off. As you can see, it goes from unallocated to a nice blue primary partition. So we're going to go ahead and let that finish off. Now, this might not stay healthy. It may, might just be completely blank. Don't worry. When you open this back up, back up now, your USB drive is now completely fixed and you can store files on it as you wish. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions at all, feel free to list them below. And if you have any other problems, go ahead and make a mention in the very bottom of the video. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you subscribe. Have a great day.